day 17. The name's quite strange, if you ask me. We're not sure why he's named Day 17. We're still not quite sure exactly what he is. It looks like an animal. At a quick glance, you might think it's a dinosaur, but he's not. And he's much larger than a dinosaur. He's as huge as to cover one full village, almost 10 kilometers wide. It's difficult to even comprehend that kind of a size. But it's true, he is that big of a moving animal, with four long legs. His legs are thick and strong, like pillars. Day 17 has an egg-shaped body, like a dinosaur, and a long neck. It's supposed to have a head, but the head is always up above the clouds. Human eyes have never seen that head. He has tentacles, like structures, on his neck. There are long appendages hanging down from the neck, reaching almost the ground level. That's a weird monster, trust me. Day 17 became the talk of the town when his picture was released in the internet for the first time recently. Many people thought that it's indeed a dinosaur. As we told, the head was not visible, and its size was terrifying. In the picture, it looked like a rainy, cloudy day. There was a caption in the picture saying that storm is coming and everyone should stay indoors. There was a lot of confusion about this picture and the warning. It was the first of its kind. Then there came a second photo, which was much cloudier. It was a closer pic. Only his legs and tentacles were visible in that. But with this picture came a quite dark fact. We told you this monster has long tentacles hanging from its body. On closer view, it was found that he was holding humans in them. Each of the tentacles had one human, which is bone chill. With this second pick, everyone got terrified. They wanted to know who he is and what he's up to. Is he dangerous? Why is he appearing here? What does he want? And so on. A lot of research has gone down on this creature now. The most famous theory says that day 17 is from heaven. He comes down on stormy days to look out for the people who are ready to go to heaven. He provides a way for them. Remember, the warning came with this picture. In the warning, it's also said that, please stay inside until further notice, unless you or a loved one has been pre-chosen. So the people who are chosen will know that they have to be outside to be taken by day 17. Others will be scared and stay indoors. Thus, the chosen ones will be taken to heaven. Day 17 uses his long tentacles to pick them up. They're moved up above the clouds, and then they're disappeared. I'm not trusting this theory. He might be an angel, but I'm not going anywhere near that monster. No, no. There is another quite different theory which debunks all of this. It says that Day 17 is simply a gigantic monster. See, these people know what they're talking about. We've never seen his head, but he has a head and teeth like dinosaurs. He comes out in stormy days to find his prey. In such chaotic days, most of the people will stay inside, and the stranded people can be easily caught and eaten up. No others will come to help. In fact, Nobody will actually ever see how the monster is killing the humans. This helps him to remain a myth. 
and day 17 will have more chances to come out and hunt on the next stormy day. He's been doing this for years, preying on humans without even their knowledge. We never knew such a predator exists on this earth. However, in this time and age of information overflow, he could not hide much. That's how his pictures came out, exposing him to the world. Day 17 is not the only one of his type. He has two other species, Day 17 species 2 and 3. The species 2 walks on two legs. He has arms and legs. He's very tall and huge. Huge like the original Day 17. His arms are not lengthy. In the only picture available of the second species, his upper body is mostly visible than the lower body. Means the picture's taken from above the clouds. So we're looking at his head, basically. He seems to have two horns. They're large and scary. It looks like he has four eyes. On one side, this species' body looks completely white. One weird fact about Day 17 is that animals are not afraid of him. Birds fly nearby as if he's not a threat. Maybe he's here to wipe us humans out. We don't know. Nobody knows. Okay? Day 17 is the most unique monster of all. He's genderless. He's a metaphysical entity. He's not completely just physical with only flesh and blood. He has other dimensions of his existence. He is part of a big tree. Day 17 is said as a titan-like creature, which essentially means he is an influential energy. He can talk to human minds or communicate with them using energy frequencies. That's how he tells them to come to him. Whether he gets them to take them to heaven or to kill, he definitely has the power to lure humans towards him and make them feel like they're being called. What's that? What's that? What's that? One more.